I'm John from SurfFX. I'm with Michael Booth. Today we're checking out the 2017 Starboard Paddles. Welcome back, Boothie. You did pretty well over at the Pacific Paddle Games. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Now, today we're looking at the new 2017 Starboard Paddles. Yep. Which of these paddles do you use? Because we've got the Bolt here, and then we've got the Enduro. Okay, so I'm currently using the Medium Bolt. Yep. Um, with a 38 stiffness shaft. Okay. Um, but I've actually just been trying out the 35 as well, because I've got a quite a short paddle, so I like it quite stiff and quite on the front of my catch. So that, that paddle is really working for me in, the, in all the distance and the spin sort of stuff. Now this paddle was a new paddle for last year. They put a real scooped out, like a double concave through the back of it. Uh, that gave it a really, really nice catch. Yeah. Um, the, the angle of the blade attack, we got 10 degrees. So this is a real quite straight, very true paddling yeah. paddle, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very performance based paddle. Like it's um, really, really good for the front of the catch sort of um, paddling, which is where you should be doing all your or the main part of your stroke. Um, double concave is uh, excellent for like, less cavitation through the water, like some of the lesser designed paddles you'll find in uh, maybe some other manufacturers where the front of your catch it will take like maybe 10 centimeters before it actually catches and be able to pull through, whereas this blade is excellent just to be able to get the blade in the water and pull it all the way through. Yeah, for a lot of guys, you know, we're talking about the catch, you know, we're talking about this a lot right now. The catch is when the paddle First enters the water. Yes, and that's your and that's your setup for your entire stroke. Yeah, so it's like basically the the first sort of thirty of strokes probably the most important part of your stroke, and that's basically once the blade goes in the water and comes like just that first sort of maybe 15, 20 centimeters. Now new for this year, they've added that because that was new last year. Yep. Where they added a couple new sides, but this year they've done the same treatment to the back of the enduro, which is more all around paddle and the more surf paddle. Yeah. Um, now the nice rounded tip, it's a bit more forgiving on a wave to do a drag. And now you've got the same kind of catch effect from having that big, big scalloped out back on that paddle. These have been selling quite well for us. And price wise, for us now in Australia, and with full carbons, uh, these are $4.99. Yep, wow. Uh, and then really we've got, good. you know, it's a little bit more for the, uh, for the bolt, yep. but you do get more in the bolt. So, I mean, that and that, they're super light. They use a full pre preg carbon shaft, so the, the carbon when they make it is pre impregnated with resin. Yep. So there's no extra resin coming through it, so it's not extra weight from there. And I said, you know, you run different that, uh, shaft differences. Yeah. Uh, these are available in kind of a, you know, a few different. Yeah, sections. they're available in a 35, a 40, and a 45, That's um, good. which are the different ship uh, stiffnesses. Whereas the 35 is the most stiff, with the 45 being the less stiff. So basically, if you're older and you've got shoulder problems and that sort of thing, like the 45 is perfect for you. Like you need to. Everyone's older than you. Well, uh, not really. All the kids <laughs> I'm racing against are like 18 to 21. I'm like, what's going on? Um, but yeah, so the with the ship uh, staff ship uh, staff staff citizens. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah, you've just got to pick one that's going to suit your shoulders, basically. Now, blade construction is something that is, you know, basically people say, oh, it's carbon, or it's not carbon. Uh, they go into quite detail, starboard go, with what their port, how their blades are done. Yep. They use a biax glass. Uh, there is a carbon, a single directional carbon stringer, down the blades, and on the bolts, it's actually a bit shorter, so you got a bit more. Flex in the tip. Yeah, um, it's a nice, nice. So you get a little bit more flex on your release. Yeah, handy. yeah. Starboard are excellent with all their design stuff. I think they're top of the game uh, with everything. Um, they really. I've been over to Thailand and um, tested with those guys, and they're just really on to everything. So it's pretty amazing. Well, they pay you. They don't pay me. And yeah, they do have. They really have stepped it up. Um, you know, I can vouch for that easily. Just look at the way they've done the paddle on the top of the bolts. Uh, and you see Connor Baxter, you know, he helped design this paddle. And you see his stroke, and when he's you know, sprinting off the line, he chokes down on it. Yeah. And what they've done, they've added quite a bit of, of full grip texture to yeah. the top of it. Um, yeah, it's like a matte sort of finish where it's a bit, bit uh, it's a real than section. a no, that's, normal. That's not, you, you don't choke on your stroke. I either. don't, I've, I've tried it out a little bit, but um, I'm more of just at the top of the, the stroke sort of guy. Yeah. Um, that's something that Connor's obviously worked on for a long time. A lot of different guys do do that, but um, I mainly just go straight out the top of the way. Yeah, differences in the details. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming in. No worries. Thanks a lot.